Well, typically when I'm starting on a track, uh, I usually have to have some drums first, uh, just to give me like a you know a rhythm bed for what I'm going to do next, uh, and then from there just start layering on sounds, maybe a bass first, and layering certain things on top of that. Having Ableton Live and then having the launch pad, it's really easy for me to go to different tracks, uh, record and Ableton, uh, you know, set a clip that's gonna start recording. And then from that point with the Ultra Nova, I can just record MIDI clips directly into there. Once it's recorded as MIDI, that MIDI's fed back to the Ultra Nova. Uh, so then I can hear the actual audio, the synth that's being played from my keyboard. At that point, I can record the actual audio directly into Ableton. Uh, and the reason why that's important is because then I can play a pattern, the pattern will be played back by the Ultra Nova, and then I can focus on effects. So the touch knobs, filtering, stuff like that. I can do all of that without actually playing my pattern over and over again. And the best thing is that I don't have to stop my sequencer. So again, with the launch pad, I can arm my stuff. Uh, with Ableton Live, it's really easy to record everything and layer stuff without stopping anything. And then I've got all those great sounds on my synth. So it's really, really easy. With this, it's just instant creativity. You know, I can find sounds really easily, get them into Ableton. Once I feel comfortable with it, go back to the Ultra Nova, pull up a bunch of different really, really high quality patches. And um, it's really easy to feed my creative workflow. And for me, that's really important. You know, I, I never want to feel like, a, like I'm being stagnant when I'm creating. And with this setup, it's like I said, one sound leads to another, leads to another. You got all these layers and next thing you know, you got a really good track.